For someone that's maybe coming to a studio for the very first time, is there any kind of recommendations you can give to them? Preparation is always good, you know, because it gives you adaptability and, you know, you may encounter something you never thought about at mm -hmm. rehearsal or even on stage that is actually a consideration for making a record, you know. So to realize that it, it can be like your live show, but it could also be completely different. Mm -hmm. And if you want to make a really interesting recording, it's great to be open. And I think that people that are more experienced tend to be more open because they're just less worried. They don't have to know everything, and they don't have to be super hot musicians, but I do think it helps a lot if they just thought about what kind of sounds they want to make. Right. You know, and in that sense, like just for a band to listen to a whole lot of records they like and th really think about them is useful. So it's really kind of a lot about knowing who you are as an artist before you even get to the stage of paying, popping down some money to come and record. Yeah, I think that's, that's number one. Mm -hmm. Know who you are, know what you want to do, right. and we'll figure out how much of that we can do, and sometimes we can exceed that, you know, and I think if you go in with that good state of mind, obviously you're going to do the best. Mm -hmm. So when a new band comes to work with you, uh, are you planning things out in advance? Sometimes. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's great to have that interview, just to get comfortable with every, mm -hmm. every parameter, how much time sure. we've got, what the people are like, what they're looking for. Um, I don't think I'm like a super planner. I like to get a sense of what we got to do, how much right. time we've got, and what they're looking for. But as far as the way it really goes down, I feel like it goes down when you have the instruments in your hands, you know, and the microphones on them. So for you, what do you think the most important element of a session is? Is it uh, the performer? You know, is it the gear? Is it the room? Uh, what what should really an artist focus on making the most out of when they're in a session? I think they should focus on on a good critical listen. You know, that doesn't, you know, where they don't get like hung up, but where they really know when they should do it again or not. You know, that that kind right. of thing. Because, um, you know, a great song with a great vocal and all that kind of stuff is a thousand times more interesting than a boring song that's meticulously recorded. You know, and, right. and the gear is so secondary. It's the intellectual content that speaks to the listener, and right. that's so much more important. You don't hear whether the musicians had a good time or not. <laughs> we don't really care if they did. You know, right. if, if if you're a good musician, you get across some kind of like vibe that the person hears, but it. You know, they could have had a headache while they were playing drums. They could have been hung over. Right. We don't give a shit if they're pissed off that they had to play the song again. We really don't care. It should be fun. You should be open-minded, but it shouldn't be that much fun. It is right. work. It is work. And sure. that's that's where I guess it gets back to that thing of the critical listen. Right. When you get through cutting a take, you should be willing to go back and go, yeah, actually, that sucked. Right. You know, unfortunately. Yeah. What do you think is one of the biggest mistakes you see a band coming in and making? I guess that thing of like not really knowing what you sound like can be a mm. problem. Bands come in with good songs sometimes that are kind of destroyed by the wrong kind of playing. Right. And at the session, there's only so much change you can expect people to make. You know, right. bands that come in and have that kind of problem are typically inexperienced. You know, and the more experienced you get, usually the more you kind of just figure that out. How do you help an artist get over the fact that maybe they might be scared to say to you like? Hey, I don't actually like the way you mix this song. How do you how do you kind of help people feel comfortable about that? I think people, you know, um, need to just sort of talk. They need to talk to me about what they want, and they right. need to talk to themselves about what they want. And right. I, I just try to set up an environment where I let them know they can say anything. Mm -hmm. Because I don't have to agree with them, you know. Right. And then, and then if I don't agree with them, that gets a discussion going that might be helpful. And in the end, it's not like I care who wins. Right. I just really want the good results. 